welcome back to another story with me, Miss Ellis. So I'm actually really happy about today's book and that's your first clue. It's all about being happy. So the title of this book is Where Happiness Begins and the author is Eva Elland. So get yourself nice and comfortable. Let's begin. Are you looking for happiness? I think we all are, aren't we? I think she definitely is, isn't she? <laughs> it often has disguises and goes by different names. Some days it seems to be hiding while on others, it's right there with you, wherever you go. You can try to understand it, collect it or protect it. You can try to catch it, but most of the time, happiness appears to have a will of its own. And sometimes it may feel as if there are too many things that get between you and happiness. It's not always easy, but you can find your way through. And happiness will be there waiting. <laughs> when you find it, start following. See where it will take you. Oh, it looks like a nice little adventure that, doesn't it? Happiness may be different from what you expect or feel a little scary at first, but it will let you find new paths. Enjoy your time with your family and friends and do the things you love to do. You can't feel happy all the time. You might feel overwhelmed by your feelings and that you can't always control them, but you can find your way back home. Just breathe. In that quiet moment, you will realise you don't have to keep looking for happiness. It was always there. Recognise it and treasure it. Because in the end, happiness begins with you. I'll just finish this book by reading the blurb on right on the back of the book. So it says, everyone needs happiness in their lives, but sometimes it feels far away and hard to recognise. But there is one place happiness can always be found. Can you remember where it was? It was in you, wasn't it? We need to learn about what makes us happy. What makes me happy might be different from what makes you happy. I love having a dance and being silly with my children at home. But I know some people don't like dancing, do they? So it's all about finding what makes you happy. And just remember though, we can't be happy all the time, can we? Can you imagine if we were happy all the time and we were like, yay, then it would just become the normal, wouldn't it? 
we need these ups and downs in our lives. You, when you feel really, really sad some days, it makes you appreciate when you are feeling happy. So I hope you enjoyed that story and I shall see you soon for another one. You take care of yourselves. Bye. If you like that story, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Take care. Bye for now.